attention all capsuleers. Warning, warning, severe stargate disruption expected. Normal trade routes are now affected. Our world is changing. And so is the rest of New Eden, as well as my conflict. The Pirate Story series covers my journey as Entropy Val Morgan in New Eden, as well as the conflicts, struggles, and victories. It has been a rough ride and lately has reached a new peak. I am engaged in a conflict with the Free Folk Militia, which I covered in previous stories, and one of their members, by the name of Wheezy Liz, decided to look me up on the Facebook group, find out my real name, started throwing threats and real life insults about looks, where I'm about, where I'm from, and things like that. I have reported the player, but unfortunately, he's still in the game. You've proven you're a bad member of the community, Wizzy. I just don't know what to call you yet. New Eden is the place that at the end of the day we go to have fun, to unwind, to be social, or to try for performance. In any case, keep it clean and keep it in the game. After establishing myself in Salin and Anne and working hard on growing my group, uh, the Alliance Patchwork Freelancers, I've opened myself and my members to a lot more conflict. In order to grow as a capsuleer, I believe you should be willing to lose a battle and also admit when you lost a battle in order to really help your growth. I would call this phase a bit reckless and also our growth as a group has invited more opportunities to get signed in on which happened a fair bit to me. Mr. S who is actually Serena and Malik, two characters of the same person and recently he joined Malik to Shadow Cartel uh, in order to get Sino support for some of the fights. They mostly sit in the system of Sharuvel where they have access to two citadels there so I started bashing them in Catalysts and Taluses uh, in order to put pressure on the structures. Sharuvel has no natural NPC stations so being able to dock there is a big advantage that I did not have at this moment. The bashes were not successful as the owners dropped Sinos on me in order to defend it. Again, Sinos. And as I saw Sharvel as a last fort where they take refuge, I decided to try a bait. I brought my very tanky Abaddon and I had Lodgy support as well as battle cruisers uh, somewhere on the other side of Sharvel, which has a huge warp. Uh, and I did get into a fight, I did manage to get Free Folk engaged, but by the time the uh, Lodgy arrived and the backup, my uh, Abaddon was already dead to uh, their Hyperions. So they got the best of me in this fight and realizing my weakness, I looked for support to some of my friends to get access to a Citadel in Sharuvel, which we did in the end and that will prove a big advantage because it really reduces the warp in times in case of a fight. With this new asset that we acquired, I laid my plans and prepared my fleet doctrine, armor with logistics, as well as tracking disruptors to uh, reduce the damage of the incoming Hyperions and a full new Armageddon as well.
much expected Sino from Shadow Cartel eventually lit. Our fleet performed well under the circumstance. The Newts and the Tracking Disruptors really reduced the Brutix's damage and our logic would actually hold. After the Sino was lit we couldn't break their Black Ops because an Apostle landed but we did manage to inflict some damage to Truvine themselves. We will have to adapt to these new tactics and once again we're at a stalemate. Our story doesn't stop here, and even though I felt the burden of their verbal harassment and in-game strategies, I have a duty to my pilots to lead them and to provide new opportunities. I have collaborated with a Korean mining group and offered my protection for their operations. Even if the ISK reward wasn't much at first, I saw this a way to gain a new ally, which in time paid off as they wanted to mine out the moon ore present in Salin An, where we live, so they installed a new citadel in Athanor that now we have access to. So we have access to a citadel in Salin and one in Sharovel. This move was great for business, as it could potentially form a solid foundation for industry in time. Besides the usual fights that we had in our Losek pocket, we decided to go on the roam again. We used what's by now very specific to us shield buffer merlins, as well as a rifter, and the two frigate logi to sustain us. This was by far the funnest roam I had in a while.
pirate story continues. Ready to take on new challenges every day. Ready to adapt to whatever the enemy throws at me. And in any shape conceivable. Whether that's real life threats in the game, sinos, blobs, you name it. I will keep pushing forward. I want to thank all my friends in the game for helping me out. And I want to thank all of you for all the support you've been showing me so far in the series. If you still enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. And if you're new to the series, please navigate to the channel's playlist where it has it all organized there so you can watch it entirely. And follow the adventures of Entropy Val Morgan. And until next time, fly dangerous and stand up to any space bully that you encounter in your way.